Good afternoon, church. Would like to start our service today being being Easter today. Jesus has risen for you and I. Amen. Amen. Christ has risen. Blessed is the resurrection of Christ. Amen. Church, Amen. God bless you. Thank you for being here today. May the blessing of the Lord be upon you and on your families. You know, making a beautiful sacrifice that you have done today to be in the house of Jesus. I believe our God has risen and he's going to touch you this afternoon. But we give God all glory. Father, we thank you that your son was risen for your people. Thank you, Jesus, that he's washed us completely. And in this service this afternoon, we are here to glorify, to praise, and to worship Jesus because he deserves all glory. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you that you have risen for us. And in this afternoon we pray that you raise in our hearts, that you raise in our lives and your anointing and power to flow in us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bless your people. We bless today's service. We bless the praise and worship. In the mighty name of Jesus, and the church says amen. amen. God God deserves all glory, church. Are you ready to serve Jesus today? Come on, church. Today we're going to be praising Him. We're going to be worshiping Him. And we're going to be glorifying the King of Kings. Let's join our praise and worship team. God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah.
nothing compares to you, Jesus. You turn morning to dancing. You give beauty for ashes. You turn shame into glory. You're the
Thank you to our choir team. Guze miat khos kartai yev meng video neng zed hamar miat neng. Ais khos kit zeta. John twenty, verse fifteen and sixteen. We'll have it in Armenian first. Hovanes ksant khos kdas nehingit kdas nevets. Jesus and Rana said, Kin, in choice lads linum, Umas voronum. Nile cartelov her partisan nea said Neran. Ter, yet a do vera neran, a sirins, Ures drel neran, for yes vera nem neran. Jesus and Rana said, Mariam, Yev nadar saviva says Neran, Rabuni, for Katarkman be, Bartapet. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you seeking? She, supposing him to be the gardener, said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. And Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus is in the room right now in this place. Jesus, nice day, Rehima. Hallelujah. Let us not miss his presence. Let us not miss his presence. Let's play the video, Isabella.
Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Sorry. Happy Resurrection Day. He is risen. We're just going to pray for the tithing and offerings. Heavenly Father, we praise you. Thank you that you have adopted us as your children. All thanks to your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for your cross. Thank you for the death. Thank you for the resurrection. We praise you and we love you. Lord, we just want to pray for the tithing and the offerings. We pray for your blessings upon it. We pray that you multiply it. And we pray that you use it for the furthering of your kingdom. This day is yours. We love you. In Jesus' name. Amen.
Praise Jesus. Good afternoon, church. Happy Easter. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Today we are alive thanks to Jesus. He is risen. Praise Jesus. So let's get to the announcements for today. Uh, to start off next Sunday, we will be having fellowship in our fellowship hall. We invite you guys, your families, come, let's come in unity and fellowship together. We're going to have a feast, and it's going to be more of a potluck. So, if you guys have any questions about next Sunday, or you guys want to help out, uh, you guys can approach Sister um, Satik, Armine, or Hanazan. Whether you guys want to help with bringing something or with finances, they'll, uh, they'll lead you guys on what you guys can bring. And we thank you, church. We thank you for all that you guys do. Also, church, today we're going to have communion. Let's ha uh, prepare our hearts to take the blood of Jesus. It's so powerful. There's, there's power in the blood of Jesus. Um, we, just, we just thank God that we're here today, and I thank God for all of you. And church, today's message is going to be about um, uh, Jesus' blood dripping. Message will be more in detail about the seven places where uh, the blood drip. And that's going to be given to us by our head pastor. So let's go ahead and give a round of applause to Jesus and invite our head pastor up. God bless you guys. Welcome to every single one of us. May the blessing of God be upon all of us. We know that a day as this, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ rose from the dead. And we can say Christ has risen from the dead. Blessed is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. At one time, we were slaves of sin. We had no hope. And we didn't know about salvation. Some of us thought we were more righteous than others. Because we had not been enlightened. When a person is not enlightened through the Holy Spirit, they can think and say that I am righteous. They could say I don't have need of Jesus Christ. Or they could say I believe in Jesus. I'm not an unbeliever. I'm Armenian and I am Christian. But I don't need to collect in gatherings as this. This is a lack of light. What did our Lord do? He came to this world for our salvation. Because when we look at Genesis chapter 3, God spoke to Adam and said, He said, Adam, you heard the voice of your wife. And, and you ate from the fruit that I forbid you. And that is why now you are under a curse. You will work with the sweat that you have. And this earth will have thistles because of you. But I want to speak shortly about this. We know that Adam and Eve fell under a curse and all the earth. And automatically we had been sold into sin. The first Adam gave the authority to the adversary. And we needed a person to crush the head of Satan. 
Humans cannot do that. That is why God became a human. God became a human just as us, Jesus Christ. So that he can crush the head of Satan. And he can take back the authority into his hands. So that death will not reign over you any longer. When you are in faith. You magnify the Lord. And you live in Jesus Christ. That cannot reign over you. But you have passed from death to life. Because you have given your life to Jesus Christ. I want to speak about this today. Why did Jesus spill his blood in seven different places? Seven portions, seven places his blood was spilled. We want to reflect in the word of God today. I want to remind us of these verses. In Leviticus chapter 14. Here the word of God teaches us. How a leprous person was to be cleansed of sin. To be a slave of sin is to be leprous. We were all in leprosy. In the Old Testament, leprosy shone. You could see how the leprosy was on the outside of them. And if they went inside the people, the people were to stone them and exile them. Because that leprosy would transfer from one to another. But our leprosy was internal. And ours was more, uh, it would change from one person to another even more. The conduct that we had that was not holy. We would teach our children. And then we would boast by doing sin. We thought that we were correct in all our ways. To put it simply, we didn't need anyone. But when the word of Jesus Christ as light entered within us, and the light shone within us, we understood that we were in a wrong path. And it was needed for us to accept Jesus Christ. Because without Jesus, we cannot live. On earth, it's possible that you live. But when that last day comes, if you do not have one to speak on your behalf, how can you be made righteous? On earth, we know. If someone is caught in a sin or fault, they take them to the judge. And they need a lawyer to protect them. If one is not born again, God gives them the opportunity to hear the word of God and to be born again. In Leviticus chapter 14, the first seven verses, we see the truth of the word of God. When the priest was to do a sacrifice, they were to come out of the army. In Leviticus 13, 11, it says that when they crucified Jesus Christ, they took him out of the city. Just as the sacrifice was to be made outside the city. In that same way, the Lord Jesus came out of the city to go on the cross for you. 
Remember that cedar that was in the hand of the high priest. This resembles the cross of Jesus Christ that he was to go upon. And it, also, it also speaks about the crimson. The crimson was a piece of cloth. Just as Rahab let down that red cloth from her window. When Israel came in, they saw the red cloth and they were, did not harm that person. This cloth resembles the blood of Jesus Christ. And there was also a hyssop. And hyssop resembles faith. The high priest was to have these in order to do that sin offering. And he must have done this in a vessel of clay. This sacrifice was an animal that was to be sacrificed before him. This clay pot also resembles Jesus Christ. It resembles his body, his physical body. The high priest was to sacrifice that animal in that clay pot. That is the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Who went upon the cross for us? Jesus Christ. We see the sacrifice that is made before the high priest. And the word says that there must be flowing water above the sacrifice. This flowing water must flow upon it. This water resembles the word of God. We have need of the word of God. Without the word of God, you cannot be cleansed and clean. Verse 6 says, And he takes the sacrifice and the hyssop and the crimson, and the cedar wood. And he dips them in the blood of the sacrifice. And he places the blood on the person who has leprosy. And he cleanses them. And he and the bird that is alive, he resurrects. Now, one sacrifice is killed. But the second bird is still alive in the hands of the priest. And he holds them on the water. He dips it in the blood of the sacrifice. And he lets them go. The first bird is the blood of Jesus Christ. And the second is the resurrection. We are celebrating his resurrection today. Jesus Christ has resurrected for you. But if he did not resurrect, our faith would be of no avail. The word of God says, if Jesus did not resurrect, then our faith 
is without fruit. Therefore, let us go and eat and drink. Tomorrow we are to die. But the word says that Jesus resurrected. We are witnesses today. We believe, according to the word of God, Jesus became human. He he sacrificed his life for us. So that every single one of us can have everlasting life. We once were in sin. We weren't able to come out of sin on our own. But in Romans chapter 7, Paul says that I am a very weak person who can save me from this body of sin. But here he reminds us. He says, praise to our God, our Savior Jesus Christ, because he saved us from his blood. By his resurrection, he has saved us. We today are free. Therefore, I want to say today, as we saw in the book of Leviticus, how they held his up. That, that was a plant in the hands of the priest. He would collect this. If you have ever been in a Catholic church, they have plants as this. And they put it in the water. And they scatter it upon the people. Now the priest takes this plant and dips it in the blood. Seven times he is to scatter it upon that so the leprosy can be cleansed. If it is not done seven times, the leprosy is not cleansed. Therefore I want to remind you Jesus spilled his blood seven different places for us. The first is in Luke chapter 22. When Jesus went upon the mountain. The word of God says that his blood, his, his sweat was as blood coming down. This is the first place he spilled his blood. This was spilled for our thoughts, our hearts and hands. So that our thoughts and our heart may be God. We have an amazing God. We were not able to make our mind obedient, but the Holy Spirit made our mind obedient. Praise be to Jesus Christ. And the second we see. In Luke 22, 63. In Matthew 26. 64 to 68. One more verse as well. Isaiah 52. And Isaiah 53, 4-6. When they beat Jesus, that was done for our sins, they captured him. Isaiah says that he was bruised for our iniquity. Our transgression, the Father placed upon him. They beat Jesus so that we can be free of sin today. Do you see what our Lord has done for you? We must appreciate this and acknowledge it. We must know that the Lord has done this for us. That is why we can give praise to Jesus Christ. The third in Matthew, in Mark 15, 16. Here it says that in Pilate's palace, they were beating Jesus' back. 
որբիսի նրա վերքերով դու բժշ կվես so that by his stripes you may be healed նա մեկ մեր բժշկությունը ինչպես եղավ do you see how our, our healing came նա վերքերի դեր եղավ because of his stripes ռոմայսերի 11 գլուխն ասում է in romans chapter 11 the word says մենք մի ժամանակ վայրի զիթապատուղի ճուղերն էինք that at one time we were wild olive branches բայց հայրը մեզ կտրեց այդ վայրի դեղից but the father cut us from that wild spot բերեց բնական ձիթենի վրա պատվաստեց brought us and grafted us onto the natural olive yet he Jesus said tigun ka verker chliner if there were no stripes in the back of Jesus ինչ պես մենք պետք է պատվաստվեին գալ how would we be grafted in դրա համար տերը վերքերի տեր եղավ that is why he took on stripes and beatings for us դրա խորը վերքեր հայերենում ասում է ակոս խորը վերքերի դեր եղավ there were wounds in his back for us որբիսի այդ վերքերի մեջ դու արմատավորվես so that you can have roots put in that wound Եվ դու գդարքով բժշկությունը Քրիստոսի վերքերի մեջ found your healing in the stripes of Jesus Christ blessed be Jesus Հայ Հիսուս Քրիստոսին praise be to Jesus Անդրադառնում ենք 4-րդը we reflect on the fourth portion Մարկոս 15-րդ գլուխ 17-ից գծան համարներն են in Mark 15 verse 17 to 20 Հիսուսի գլխին փշե բծակ տրին they placed a crown of thorns upon the head of Jesus ինչ եղավ And what happened? Na verserets anetska ir vara. He placed our curse upon him. Ye berets mes ortnutyun. And he brought blessings upon us. Berets khagutyun. He brought peace upon us. Berets kes hamar yerchangutyun ev havidenakan gya. He brought joy and eternal life for you. Ait anetska vor gar Adam i vara yev ai vara. That curse that was upon Adam and Eve. Yer gri vara. Upon the earth. Jesus ait aneski ir vara verser. He took all that curse upon himself. Գիտես եթե մեկը ապաշխարած չէ if one has not repented իր վրա անեց կա իր ընտանիքին curses upon them and upon their families երբ ինքը գալիս է փրկչին հիսուս քրիստոսին but when we come to the lord jesus christ այդ անեց կը վերանում է that curse is lifted երբ դու ընդունում ես հիսուսին when you choose jesus ես անձնական դեր եւ փրկիչ as your personal lord and savior դա համար հիսուսը քո անեց կը իր վրա եւ վերցրեր jesus took your curse upon himself այդ փշե Բսակը իր գլխի մեջ մխրջվում է That crown of thorns was forced upon him Եվ արյունը թափում էր իր համար And that blood was spilled on Մեր գուտյան համար For our salvation 5-րդը And 5 Ասում է երբ նրա մեխեցին գամեցին խաչին When they pierced his hands to the cross Նրա ձերքերը եւ ոտքերը գամեցին խաչին His hands and his feet were pierced to the cross Մեր ձերքերը գործերի համար էր իսկ ոտքերը քայլերի համար որ մարդը ճիշտ քայլի եւ ճիշտ գործի հիսուսի անունով Սամուս գծան 2:16-ի մեջ գրած է որ իմ ձերքերը եւ ոտքերը ցակեցին In Psalm 22:16 they pierced my hands and my feet Որ այս որ այս մեր ոտքերը դիրոց ճանապարի մեջ մնա So that today our feet may be in the path of God Եվ մենք լիովին դիրոց հանձնված լինենք And today we may surrender to him completely դրա համար հիսուսին խաչը հանեցին That is why they raised Jesus upon the cross Դա հինգերորդն է That is 5 Իսկ 6-րդը And the sixth portion Երբ հիսուսին խաչեցին դրա խաչը գայնացրին When they crucified Jesus they raised his cross Եվ որ խաչը գայնացրին արյուն էր իշնում When they raised it blood Եվ գիտես ինչ է ամբողջ մարմնի ծանրությունը այդ գամերի վրա էր մեխերի վրա էր All his body's weight was upon the nails of the cross Սա շատ ուժեղ ցավ էր This was a very powerful pain upon his body Մարկոս ավետարանի 15-րդ գլուխ գծանին համարն ասում է In Mark 15 verse 25 the word says Սվե ժամը 3-ն էր երբ որ Հիսուսի խաչը հանեց That it was 3 o'clock when they raised them upon the cross Իսկ Մարկոս 15-րդ գլուխ 33 34 համարներն ասում է Verse 33 and 34 say Նա 6 ժամ խաչի վրա մնաց That for 6 hours he remained upon the cross Մարդկության 6000 Darva mekhe Hisusa verseret for 6000 years of human sin Jesus took it upon himself and there was darkness upon the whole earth Garogesnael Amosi Markariotian 8-րդ գլուխ 9-րդ խոսքը You can see Amos chapter 8 verse 9 Ասում է պետք է ամբողջ երկիրը խավարի։ That the whole world was in darkness at that moment. Եվ վերջինը 7-րդն է։ And the seventh place. Հովանո ավետարան 19-րդ գլուխ 34 համարը։ In John 19:34. Ասում է Հիսուսի գողից խոցեցին։ That they pierced the right side of Jesus. 
եւ ինչ տեղի ունեցա and what took place արյուն եւ ջուր դուրս եկավ water and blood flowed out երբ դա տեղի ունեցա when did this take place երբ որ զինվորները հրաման էին արել when the soldiers commanded որ խաչի վրա եղողների սրունքները պետք է գոդրեն that you must break the feet of those who are on the cross որպես է շուտ մահանան so they can die quickly քանի որ դա հաջորդ օրը շաբաթ օրը because the following day saturday հրիաների համար մեծ օր էր սրբության օր էր a day of holiness for the jews եւ օրինած գրկում գրված էր and it is written եթե մեկի խաչը հանես If you raise one on the cross. Հանկարծ շաբաթորը չմնա խաչի վրա։ It should not stay on the Sabbath. Որովհետև երկրի վրա մեծ անեց կգա այն ժամանակ։ Because curse will come upon the earth. Նրանք եկան զինվորների սրունքները գոդրեցին։ They came and they broke the feet of those who were on the cross. Երբ եկան Հիսուսին, but when they came to Jesus. Դեսան որ նա արդեն հոգին ավանդել է։ They saw that his spirit had already left him. Ասմե զինվորներից մեկը, and the soldiers said, Նա նիզագով գողը խոցեց։ Come and pierce his side are you near your horse water and blood came out did this in chenashanago do you know what this resembles yep asvats adamin khore gundvab when adam gave when god gave adam a deep sleep nera kogi voskorneris mega hanets ginare he took a bone from his side and created woman from yev adam nasets and adam said գիտեք հայերենում գին բարը ցանք է նշանակում in armenian wife means life asets a im hamar ցանք է He said this is life for me. Du Christosi amar kyankes. For you you are life for Christ. Ait nizaga bor inka statsa mahanaluts heto. That spear that he received in his side. Asterits yegeretsin zelets. The church came out. Durs yegav yegeretsin. The church was born. Menk shnorakal enk ais bolori hamar. We are thankful for all this. Ես կարող եմ ձեզի մի համար ասեմ դրա մասին։ I can say another verse about this. Արեցի հովանու 5-րդ գլուխ 7-8 համարներ այս մասին խոսում է։ 1 John chapter 5 verses 7 and 8. Եթե մեկը վերսին չծնվի, հոգուց եւ ջրի չծնվի, You are not born again of the spirit. Նա չի կարող ասու արքայությունը մուտ գործել։ You cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Կարող ես մի փառ տաս Հիսուսին։ Can you give praise to Jesus for this? Այս ապա արիան համար։ For his blood. Այսօր դու այս արիան գնով ես այստեղ։ You are the price of his blood today. Հայրը the father Եվ տեսավ արյունը when he sees the blood գոհացավնա he was thankful որովհետև նա հոր գամ քներ because this was the will of the father որովհետև մենք չգործվենք so we may not perish այսօր մենք գորսեան որդի ներ չենք we are not children of the perish դու հարուտյան որդի ես but you are a child of the resurrection դու հարուտյան ես you are saved եւ դու հավատքի մեջ մնաս when you stay in the faith դու պետք է մինչե մա հավատքի մեջ մնաս you must stay in the faith until death եւ հիշիր and remember for Jesus Christ is our unna that the blood of Jesus Christ says amen mekhitse makrum cleanses you of all sin kani vor du makrvatses because you are cleansed mana khoski mech stay in the word and Jesus Christ and worship Jesus Christ there ordni mezani same mekin Jesus i anunov in the name of Jesus եկեք կանգնենք ոդկի եւ շարունակենք մեր այս օրվա աշտամունքը we can all stand and continue today's service
Christ. Good afternoon, church. God bless you. You may take a seat. Thank you for being here. A resurrection. Amazing day to celebrate the resurrection of our Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the one and only, whose name is above every name. Thank you, Jesus, for your resurrection in our lives today. Church, how you doing? How many are you happy for the resurrection of Jesus Christ? I believe our King is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And he's risen for a reason. I'm going to tell you about the reason. God bless you. Jesus loves you, church. You know, as we come together to celebrate Easter, Easter is about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. God so loves you and I. Here is what he said. No more pain for my people. No more suffering for you and I. No more sin for you and I. I will send my son Jesus Christ for you. We are here to celebrate the resurrection of Jesus. Pastor talked about the blood of Jesus. His blood dripped. I'm here to tell you Jesus rose three days later. Yes, The God God that you you and and I serve is not dead, but he's alive. The king that we serve listens to your prayers listens to your cries and he is alive to answer it today for you he is here to risen into our lives he is here to pull you out of your circumstances Jesus rose and he's here to touch the heart of his people Listen, my hand won't do nothing. Nothing. I wear and have the same hand and flesh like you. But the hand of Jesus that was crucified on the cross. When he comes and touches 
the power of God will flow over you. His hand will touch you. Life and evermore will enter into your life. Pull you out of the place you're in. Listen, cancer has no authority over your body. Sickness has no authority over your body. Problem has no authority over your body. The impossible has no authority over your body. Jesus, I serve. Converts impossible to possibility. Pulls sickness out and gives healing. Speaks over cancer. You know what's amazing? He even pulls the dead and gives resurrection. Our Jesus does that. The King of Kings does that. The one that you are here for today does that. And he says he's here alive to do it in your life today. But are you ready? for his resurrection to arise in your hearts and in your lives today. We have busy lives, but are we ready to put the business away? Because Jesus is not. He has time for you and I. He's ready to sit down with you and me today. He's ready to have a feast with you and me today. And he says, I'm not busy. But he says this. I'm ready to sit down and have a one-on-one -on with you. I want to hear you today. I want you to open up your heart and I will come and you will see me arise in your lives and then you will see my hand come and touch you. Our Jesus can do it We'll do it. And he's able to do it in your life today. You just have to believe. You gotta have faith. You gotta stand strong in him. He's the one who speaks life. He's the one who heals. He's the one who comes to you in the place that you're in. And you say, God, I call your name. Come and touch me in my place. Come and heal me in my place. And he says, I'm here to do it. Is there someone here who believes that God can do it? I'm telling you, I believe it from the bottom of my heart as I serve Jesus Christ. All I am is a small servant of Jesus. But I believe in the move of the Holy Spirit. And I believe in the power of God. And I know He's alive. And I know He can do it. And I know He will do it. And I know in your life He can change you today. And you can walk out receiving healing on a beautiful resurrection of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, I really feel the presence of Jesus here. You know, when we look at the word of the Bible, in Matthews 28, verse 6 and 7 says, Mary went to go see Jesus in the womb. The angel came to Mary. And he said, Jesus is not here. You're looking for Jesus. He's not in there. Jesus rose. Mary, Jesus rose. Mary, Jesus, Mary, Jesus is not in the tomb. Mary, Jesus is not dead. Jesus is not dead. So Mary listened to the, uh, to the angel. And the angel tells Mary as we continue on into the verses to 10. Go, Jesus is going ahead of you to Galilee. And he'll meet you there. So Mary went. And Jesus spoke to Mary. You see, Mary went to visit Jesus. But Jesus wasn't there. But Jesus went to Galilee to meet Mary. Jesus was resurrected. Just like our own lives. 
We want to go find Jesus. Where are you, Lord? I'm calling you, God. You don't see me in my condition. Come into my life. I'm here to tell you, Jesus rose. And when we allow him to enter in our lives, and we say, yes, Jesus, come. Yes, Jesus, touch me. Yes, Jesus, wash me from my sins. Yes, Jesus, wash me from my sins and cleanse me today of my sickness. When Jesus does all that, just like Mary, Jesus says, come, I want to talk to you. Jesus says, come, I want to meet you now. Jesus says, come, I want to mold you in my image. And I will do as I will in your life. Allow me to form you in my desires. And as you do, you'll see my hand touching your life. You'll see my hand touching your family. You'll see my hand touching your business. And you'll see me calling you out. And my hand will be a powerful hand on your life. That's what Jesus wants to do for you and Jesus I today, church. He wants to come in our lives. He wants he wants to be resurrected in you and I. And he wants to wash us from our sicknesses and our sins. And then he wants to use you and I for his glory to spread his word all over the world. Amen. Amen. Yes, every single one of you have been chosen by Jesus. He knows your name. And he's calling you from the place that you're in. And he says, come to me all who are hungry and worried. And I will give on to you. Amen. Amen. And 1 Corinthians 15, 4 says that he was buried that he was raised on the third day according to the scripture the Bible says Jesus was buried three days later our Jesus rose that means Jesus is alive that means Jesus is not dead that means the Lord that you and I serve he hears you he sees you and he rose for you and I and you know what's interesting the Bible says that spirit that spirit that rose Jesus Christ from the dead are you ready for this? lives in you lives in me today that same authority that same power that same fire lives in you today all you gotta do is get it stand faith that spirit is in you today and you know what it's gonna do you can just get up from the condition that you're in and say in the mighty name of Jesus I believe his healing is on my life I believe he's gonna do a miracle right now in my life I believe he's going to change the circumstance of my life because that same spirit lives in me today because that's what the scripture tells us this is what Easter is about the resurrection of Jesus Christ the King of Kings all glory to Jesus how many of you are happy and Jesus rose for you and me. Come on, are you happy? Oh, you gotta receive it. Take it with faith today. Our Jesus is rose. And he's ready to arise in your life. And touch you in your condition. Many of you are here. I know I feel it. Some of you are here for healing. Some of you are broken. But I'm here to tell you Jesus wants to arise in your life. I believe Jesus will heal you and get you well. But you have to be in faith and believe that he can do it. And as we're getting ready for communion right now, I want to pray for you.
The scripture teaches us and tells us. In 1 Corinthians 11, 23 and on. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus on the night was betrayed took the bread. And he gave thanks and he broke it and he said. This is my body which is for you in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, he took the cup saying, This cup is a new covenant. In my blood do this whenever you drink. In remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Church, as we're getting ready for communion on a beautiful Easter Sunday, I'd like to ask everyone to please stand up. You see, our Jesus rose. Our Jesus died on the cross. So our pains could be left. So our sins could be washed away. So our problems could be gone. And it goes deeper called stress. Jesus died on the cross. So you live stress free. So you live in his glory. So you live in his joy. And today as we're taking communion, I want you to look deep in your heart and come before the to the Lord and say Christ here I am just a human being the way you've created me I opened my heart before you I ask you to enter I ask you to wash me in your blood I ask you to cleanse me today forgive all my sins sins I've done by knowing and sins I've done without knowing Jesus I'm not perfect I have mistakes and wrong. But I ask your purity to come into my life. And accept me as your child. As I accept you as my father. And this afternoon, Lord, help me to forgive those who've given me pain. Those who've given me hardship. Those who've given me difficulty. I forgive them, Father. For they didn't know what they were doing. And today, Lord, I saw them. bless them, Father. As you have blessed me today. In Jesus' name. Lord, as your people take communion this afternoon, we bless the communion cups. We bless the bread. We speak your power and anointing on your people. Let it flow this afternoon, Lord. Let miracles and healing take place. Let powerful testimony come out of your people's lips. And let your name be arised here this afternoon. In Jesus' name. And the church says, Amen. Amen. Church, please wait until the end. As we will take it all together. God bless you, church. You may go to Hey.
Church, everybody has communion. Alright, we'll give it a minute. Is that a minute? Alright. As we take your body, we come before you right now. And we ask you, Lord, bless us right now. Heal us right now. Heal us in our physical. Heal us, Father, in the spirit. As we surrender in your hands right now, we ask you to touch us. Pull out the impossible. Pull out the sickness. And stretch your arms into our lives. In Jesus' name. Church, you may take the body. Father, your word says that you went on the cross to be crucified for our sins and your blood saved us Father as we take it we ask you to save us today from all our problems in the name of Jesus and as your people are taking Father we release the power of the Holy Spirit onto the lives of your people in Jesus name church you may take it Amen Amen Praise Jesus Christ. Park Jesus Christos. Glory to the Lord. Volch park di rochen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know in the Bible, in Hebrews, chapter four, verse sixteen. Ye pratis chorsi das neveti mecha. It tells us something. Ezi gse. I know before I read the scripture. Are you ready? I've seen so many miracles in my life. Yes, I've seen through prayer how God blesses. I've seen how God instantly heals people. I'm a walking testimony for him. God healed me from my own place that I was in. God wants to heal you today. Many years ago when I lost my speech and I was stuttering every doctor told me it's impossible. They told me, Jack, your stuttering will go on for the rest of your life. There is no healing for it. There is no cure for it. And I had to make a decision. The decision was to listen to the doctors. The, the decision was to take what they were telling me. And to put it in my life. And I would have walked with that for the rest of my life. But I remembered. 
that the Bible says something else to Jack. He says, Jack, I've came to pull you out of the condition you're in. I will make impossible to possible if you believe. And I'll never forget that day when I was in the doctor's office. And I wrote on the paper, Doctor, thank you for what you're telling me. Because the information you're giving me is off the experience you got. The book you read is a book at a university. But I'm here to tell you the book I read is called the Holy Bible. And what I believe in, Jesus can open up my lips and he will heal me today. Uh, you know what happened? The doctor fell and started crying in his office. And he said, Jack, you're not the sick one I am. In your condition, if you could do what you're doing, I would pray. Yes, and I prayed for him yes, and that Sunday when I went to church and I stood up at a podium just like this and I told the pastors I'd like to preach when I was stuttering even on that Sunday morning I'll never forget when I went up this voice told me what are you doing? You're stuttering. And I told that voice, I've been faithful to God. I'm going to be faithful for the rest of my life. I know Jesus is about to heal me. Away from me, enemy, in the name of Jesus. For God is here to open up my lips. And instantly, I got my speech back. Nothing went away completely. I'm here to tell you, Yes, if God did it in Jack's life, if God's doing it in David's life, if God's doing it in the pastor's life, God is real to do it in your life today. God's trying to do it in your life today. You just have to grab it with faith. Lord, God will make it happen. In Hebrews 4, 6, it says, Let us hold fast our confession, for he who promised is faithful. It says, let us approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. I got a question. Who's in a need today? The Bible says, if you're in the need, come to my throne with your grace and I will do it in your life. I want you to stand up and I'd like to pray for you. If you are sick, I want you to take your hand just wave it up top and say, Father God, here I stand before you. Lord, it is my hand. But I believe your hand will overshadow my hand. And as I put it on the place of my sickness, I release the Stand, I speak healing on my body right now. In the name of Jesus. Father, we rebuke sicknesses. We rebuke cancer. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray every blood cells to come back to normal. Amen. Every part of the body of your people that come into normal. In the mighty name of Jesus, we rebuke back pains. Father, I pray every man or woman who is lame in here, Father, to walk in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we speak your healing right now. We rebuke sickness. We rebuke chains. Fall in the name of Jesus. And right now, Lord, we release your spiritual blessing on your people. In Jesus' name. And the church says, Amen to God. Amen. All glory to Jesus. Church, God bless you. Thank you.
Shinoragalem. May the blessing of the Lord be on your life. May the rest of today, as this beautiful Easter, be blessed in your families as you go to your families' homes. As you go connect with your children, your loved ones. I pray that light that is shining in the house of Jesus today to shine in your home. To shine in your difficulties. To shine in the places that you cry out to Jesus. Because I believe when the light comes, it shines in every darkness. God bless you, church.
Oh, oh, oh. 